Welcome to the Prophecy Club. Our topic today is Berkey water filters are about to be no more. I received a phone call this morning from my office and they were all in a panic. And it seems that, yeah, Berkey water filters, at least at this point, are going away. No, we're not kidding. And it's not for a bad reason, not for anything bad they've done. It's because apparently they are too good. Now, so I, I suggest, at least here's what, here's what has happened. Our office has been deluged with orders. So as of right now, here's where we are. The Berkey filters, water filters, are going away. Yes, they have filed a lawsuit to try to stop it. And I, meaning Berkey dealers, have been asked not to speak about it. And you know, that's what the devil does. Okay, so first <laughs> he hits you over the head and then tells you not to talk about it. So you can't get any help. So we've been asked, the Berkey dealers have been asked not to speak about it. It's not because they've done anything wrong. It's because they're actually too good. And I think it's, and, and I, by the time we get to the pro, end of the program, I think you're going to understand. It's not that they don't work. It's that they work too good. Too good for, I, I, I don't know. I don't want to wind up in a lawsuit myself, so I'm having to pick my words very carefully. I can tell you right now, as I go through this pro program today, you're going to have to read through the lines. Uh, I mean, I had the letter from Berkey all ready to read, and I had it all placed in PowerPoint until I got to the last line, and they were asking us not to say anything about it. So I'm not going to say anything about it. So what happened? I got a phone call this morning. I was in a meeting. And all of a sudden, we started getting covered up with Berkey orders. Well, yeah, I did talk about us having a nice supply of Berkey water filters a couple of days ago. And they said, no, 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 no. It's not that. It's that they're being shut down. I, I don't know the right words. And let me just give a disclaimer. I'm not trying to go against Berkey. I'm not trying to go against the people that are trying to shut down Berkey. I'm just trying to let people know they're going away at this point. If they can't stop it, they're trying to stop it. But it's a big elephant. Anyway, um, the, the point that I want to tell you is Prophecy Club just happened to have recently ordered a nice supply of Berkey water filters. And yeah, we were deluged with orders today. But we have pretty good inventory, and so we still have some. We also placed another very, very large order to be delivered in about three or four weeks. But the problem is, my guess is that we might be out as soon as today. Hopefully it'll last 48 hours. It might even last through the weekend. But if you have been thinking about getting a Berkey water filter, you better grab your credit card. You better do what you got to do if you want to get one. And you do want to get one in my estimation. So what do you do? You go to prophecyclub.com. Prophecyclub.com. Now let me kind of walk you through the simple thing. You can click on these, do your own research, but at this point, if you can just get one, you did good. So the basic one is this guy here. This is the Berkey water filter that has four filters. It filters pretty fast. You, I would recommend you get some extra filaments or elements. But the problem is, uh, right now, we are out of extra elements because, again, the thing happened. This is also very good. See, two, the, 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 the most important thing is how many filters it has. The more filters, the faster it can filter water, means in a 24-hour period, it can filter more water. Now, the one I have is this Crown Berkey right here. I run all of my water, every bit of the water that goes in my mouth here at the house, all goes through a crown. Now, it comes with six, but you I got two extra filters, so mine has eight filters. It's big enough to filter water for the whole neighborhood. I mean, I can pour water in the top of it, 
and almost as fast as it comes out to speak it is how much is how fast it it, it it filters it. That's the best one if you can afford it. That's the one to get. We're not going up on prices, but I'm telling you right now, if you've ever thought about getting a Berkey, you better get one right now. All right, now, let me show you some things that I haven't covered or haven't covered in a long time. Sundar Salvarage. A new disease is coming. It's going to eat the skin or break out in the Western countries in a form of punishment for touching the apple of God's eye, meaning Israel. I saw the sky darken and many brightly uh, colored meteors falling from the sky like a meteor shower. Trees will burn in large numbers. Large areas will burn. Then mountains will spew and burn and they will spew lava in high quantity. When the lava hits the water, it begins poisoning the water. Okay, well, that's straight out of, you know, the revelation. We know that's coming. That's no big revelation. But that's just another reason why you want to make certain you have a Berkey water filter. Now, let me go on to the next one. Been a long time since I read this one. This is from You Be Ready or Byron Pearl. In the dream, I found myself in a small town. Everyone was alarmed and panicking, and more and more people were getting sick and dying. I hope you're listening. You know, there's very few things that I can say, if, if you don't act on it, this one might cost you your life. You don't want to lose a child because you had to give them tainted water, poisoned water. So you, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, this is not a joke. Get yourself prepared. No one knew why it was happening. Then suddenly, it was made known to all of us, suddenly, everybody started saying, it's the water. We all began to rush to get out water filters and begin using them. Now, the problem is, not all water filters can remove, and I, 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 I hesitate to say the word, not all water filters are alike. Just because it says it filters water, just because it says it filters water clean, doesn't necessarily mean it gets the bad stuff. Berkey, what, been around 80 years, so what the missionaries prove, missionaries have been using around the world for, uh, I don't know, 60, 70, 80 years. If there's one that's been proven out there to do a good job of filtering, it's Berkey, which is the problem. It's been doing a good job. Now, let's go on. The scene changed, and I was somewhere in a room with people who were discussing the situation about the water. I couldn't see them, but I could hear their voices, and they were saying, that they had to keep experimenting with dilutions and concentrations to try to find the correct amount needed to achieve the desired outcome. In other words, how much poison, how much chemical do we put in the water? That's the question. What is what he's really saying here? They're doing their testing in small towns because it's easier to track before moving to the larger cities. My son... During the days of chaos, men will formulate various solutions, poison. Now, here's the problem. If it's a bug, you can boil it and kill it. But if it's a chemical, you can boil it all day long. It doesn't bother a chemical. You understand? Okay. If it's a poison, if it's a chemical. Or if it's a toxin, like you know, snake venom or something like that. Boiling is not going to fix it, you see. It'll degrade in the water, but keep the strength of the solution in full. Evil men have planned this attack on the water supplies of Mystery Babylon to control the populations for easy takeover. Some of these solutions will not kill, but bring whoever drinks the water under passivity. In other words, they just almost like zombies. The people will act drugged and not fight. Some of the other solutions will drive whoever drinks the water insane, and they will go about killing everyone in their way. What was the the uh, what was the movie with? Um, I'm drawing a blank. What was the movie? There was a movie that came out where Will Smith was the only one in the world, outside of a few others, that had had an immunity to this virus, and when people got the virus, it turned them into zombies. And all he wanted to do is kill other people. Now you remember Lindsay Williams, one of the members of the elite, 
told us that the elite consider themselves gentlemen. And they don't think it's right to bring all of this bad stuff on an unsuspecting public. So they, to be a good sportsman, they tell people what they're doing. Now, the way they tell them is in movies, in music, and also in the news, even books, even magazines. And in our case, we have prophets telling us and warning us. So here we've been warned that there is a chemical that can kill, a poison that can kill, and also another one that can make people like go zombies where they start killing everybody. If you don't want to be in that list, it is worth it. You got to find this money. You got to find it, okay? We're not going up on price. And we've ordered more. And we've got a pretty good inventory right now. But with the kind of people, as many people buying them today, it won't last long. I'm telling you. These ingredients cannot be boiled out. Remember that phrase, I'm going to show you Coverstone says the same thing. These ingredients cannot be boiled out, but can only be filtered out to make the water safe. Now, I think that that's the reason they're coming after Berkey, because Berkey can filter them out. So they want to, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to choose my words carefully here, that, uh, how do I want to say Let's put it this way. If I was planning, if I was planning on trying to kill a bunch of people by putting a poison chemical or a poison snake venom or something like that in the water, and I knew that there was only one filter out there that would filter it out, why, I would try to put them out of business. That way, I could kill more people and nobody could stop it. See what I'm saying? I told you, you got to read through between the lines on this program. Let's go on. Let's read that again. These ingredients cannot be boiled out, but can only be filtered out. These ingredients cannot be boiled out, but can only be filtered out. These ingredients cannot be boiled out, but cannot can only be filtered out to make the water safe. Bald water, unless it's from natural springs, will also be tainted. My son, because the children refuse to drink the water of my word, the living water, I will give them tainted water. I say, repent now, get into my word, and be refreshed with the water of life. Some water will be radioactive, where bombs have been detonated, because the skies have been filled with the chemicals. Much of the lakes and ponds have been tainted. Water used on plants will also be tainted, which will then bring the famine to new levels. People will not buy the food in stores, fearing it would be tainted. My son, many people will perish for drinking tainted water. Fear will run amok in large cities with many fleeing to the countryside. I say to my children, brace yourselves for the judgments will be in full swing and then will affect all who are living in America. America must be brought down as a power and tainted water is part of their plan. My son, tell my body, to learn to walk by faith, trusting me in all things. I am the living water, and I will fill you and keep you. I love you, my children, but watch for a town or city whose people suddenly become very ill for no known or obvious reason. I tell you, it's the water. Okay, now let's jump to the Coverstone dream I talked about. 2022. I'm only reading a part of it. The scene changed. I was hearing news reports and seeing newspaper headlines with serious-faced reporters announcing deaths happening all over the country in both rural and metropolitan areas. The reports were about water systems being poisoned in various places around the country. I saw headlines suggesting entire communities poisoned through the water supply. Again, you know, how many times does it take for God to speak to us before we finally believe it's God? Reporters were telling people to drink nothing but bottled water or water they knew was not connected to the local water supply. Now, let me just say something. I can't say this in every program every day, so I might not even be talking about this tomorrow. So you owe it to your family, your friends, your neighbors, the people you work You owe it to them to send this out. Now, they might think it's a bunch of hocus-pocus, a bunch of bunk. 
But that's not your problem. As a watchman, go read Ezekiel 33, 6. If you don't warn them and the sword comes against them, the blood is on your head. Go read it. Ezekiel 33, 6. You're obligated to warn them, to tell them. Now, whether they decide to do anything about it, whether they want to be your friend anymore, that's not your problem. Before the Lord, you are obligated to tell people when trouble is coming. Okay, let's go on. Reporters were telling people to drink nothing but bottled water or water they knew was not connected to the local water supply. It was affecting both larger and smaller communities, but in not every community. It was impacting the West more so, more so than other places in the U.S., according to reporters. And they were announcing that there were National Guard units fully armed watching water facilities. Thousands were reported as having died and hospitals were full of heavily poisoned people getting medical treatment and FEMA centers were being set up in those regions. Uh, let me just say, I question government help. I question that. I question that. Again, you got to read through the lines. I know some things I can't say. An emergency broadcast announcement was running along the bottom of the TV screens, a monitor is stating that, listen carefully, boiling water was not an effective way of making any water safe. Why? If it's a poison, if it's chemical, you can boil it all day long. Not gonna hurt the chemicals, not gonna hurt the poison. That only stops viruses and bacteria. But the problem is, it's a lot easier to put in a poison or a toxin or a chemical, you see? I'll read it again. Boiling was not an effective way of making any water safe. Why? Because I think the reason they're coming after Berkey is because they know Berkey can filter it out. So they're taking away the solution before they introduce the problem. Now, let me give you a disclaimer. I do not know that, I'm just guessing. I don't know anything. Matter of fact, this whole program is just for entertainment purposes, for all the legal means here, okay? I'll read it again. Boiling water was not an effective way of making any water safe. I then saw a clock tower above a municipal water supply and its hands pointed to 4.05 in the afternoon. Now, I do not know for certain what that 4.05 is, but I do know that there is a fourth month, January, February, March, April. Is that talking about the fifth day of April? I don't know. Would that be talking about 2024? I don't know. But I'm saying, don't wait. Get yourself prepared. Now let's jump to one. I've read this several times. 2011, Prophet Leslie Johnson. We're in praise and worship. She steps up, grabs the microphone. I remember the day specifically. The Lord says there's going to be something put into our water system in many cities of the nation. People will begin to get sick and some will die. Many turn to drinking bottled water. Environmentalists will complain about plastic bottles damaging, quote, Mother Earth. The Lord says these things are a lie. My children that have ears to hear, make sure you get a good, reliable water filter. Look, we've been telling people this since 2011. And I know a lot of folks have been listening to Prophecy Club for a long time. You've been hearing us talking about Berkey water filters. Well, now apparently they're going away. If you want to get one, you better move quickly. We are taking some back orders if we know that we can get that Berkey in. Let me keep on reading. My children that have ears to hear, make sure you get a good, reliable water filter. You will not be able to trust the tap water or the bottled water. The only thing you can trust is my word. And trusting in me, says the Lord, you must get something to filter the water. You're going to need it. Now, why? Well, if it's a poison or if it's a chemical, did you know that somebody sent me this, this video, somebody had done some research, and it was something like 60 or 70 percent of the bottled water in America, it does not come from a spring, but it comes from the tap. And you say, what? Yeah, well, what they do is they get it directly from the water filter 
company, the water, the water department, the very, very best water. And so consequently, it doesn't go through all the pipes and doesn't need all the filtering. It's much better water, but it's still going through the municipal water filter system. In other words, if they put chemicals or poisons or snake venom or whatever it might be in the water, and the bottled water company gets it from the municipal water system, you got it. So they might say it comes from a spring. Do you want to trust that? And here's another thing. Who says somebody didn't poison the spring? Who says that? I mean, it wouldn't be much too difficult at all to find out the flow of the water under the earth. Someone just reverse it instead of pulling water out. They push poison down into the earth and it flows and it taints the wells of, I don't know, maybe even a whole state. It's not worth the risk. Get yourself a Berkey water filter and my suggestion, get some extra filters too. You remember this one? You can go to Brighteon right here. You look up, watch the water. This guy is saying that cobra venom has, not will, has been put in water. Now, I can't prove that, but I can tell you it's a very good idea to have something to filter it out. So let me summarize. According to reports, and this comes from Berkey, apparently Berkey water filters at this point, now they're fighting it, but at this point, they're going away. They're only allowed to sell what is already in their inventory, and I don't have to tell you that won't last long, especially now that word has already got out, they're stopping now. People are buying Berkey water filters like crazy. They are trying to stop it. I've been asked not to speak about it, so I'm not speaking about all the details other than just tell you it's probably going away. It has to do with them being too good, not that they're not doing it, but they're doing a too good a job. And uh, today we got covered up with orders, and my guess is it's going to be the same tomorrow, and probably within two, three days, five on the outside, we'll be out of inventory. But we do have another order already placed that's going to take three or four weeks to get it. And that is if we get it. But now let me just tell you, we have been a Berkey dealer since like 1994 or five, somewhere way back there. And so we are, how do I say, we're, we're kind of at the top of the shipping list. So when we place an order with Berkey, we have the highest probability of getting that order filled, probably more than a lot of other. We're, we're one of their largest dealers and longest dealers. So, of course, hopefully you'd want to help your Prophecy Club. My suggestion, go to prophecyclub.com. Prophecyclub.com. At least get yourself a big Berkey, this guy here. Probably want to get some extra elements. Go, got a bunch of those ordered. We're out right now. And, and, and what I'd suggest, if you can, get the Berkey with eight filters. Get some extra filters. Prophecyclub.com. 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 Now, here's the thing. They're taking away our incandescent light bulbs. They're trying to take away our gas appliances. And they're trying to take away a lot of things from us. This is really big. Prophecyclub.com. Get yourself this good of a water filter. I thought this was real interesting. These two cows, the calves, were born one the day before and one on September 25th of 2014, which just happens to be a Shemitah. A Shemitah means seven, like two means, uh, or a couple means two, or a dozen means 12. In Hebrew, Shemitah means seven. And so I believe the prophecy is saying that it started seven years of plenty followed by seven years of famine. Seven years of plenty because the black and white cow has a perfect seven on his forehead. The red cow has a, a scribbled seven on his forehead. What are the chances 
Both those cows are born within 24 hours and released to the public on the same day. I think it's of God saying seven years of plenty started in 2014 and seven years of famine started in 2021 and concludes to 2028. That's still in the ballpark. A lot of people think it's the tribulation. Now, that would mean that we are at this point in a famine. So what do you do? You do what Joseph did. The world lived off of bread. But in all the land of Egypt, there was bread. The people cried to Pharaoh for bread. That's wheat. So the world lived off of wheat for seven years, and I'm going to recommend you do the same thing. We have had 150 food sources destroyed last 18 months. No arrests. No t- We've had train derailments. China stopped container ships, threatening to stop all of them. Russia attacked Ukraine, break basket. I mean, our food is under attack. Clash Schwab says you will own nothing but be happy. They're in the process of taking everything we own. This is a loaf of bread I actually cook. I actually cook this. And as a matter of fact, I've already had a, a slice of bread this morning. And, and I've noticed that as long as I have at least one slice a day, I feel okay. It's best if I have two slices, like one for breakfast, one for lunch. I just... Even if I'm not hungry, it's, it's not that I'm eating it for food or because I'm hungry. It's because my body, <laughs> my body demands it. So josephkitchen.com, they can point you to get the right wheat, all the wherewithal you need to make bread. One loaf cut into 14 slices. If you eat two slices a day, I find that about one loaf feeds one person per week. One slice breakfast, one slice dinner. Better nutrition, long storage life, some 3,000 years, three, 10 minutes to make bread machine. The weakness is the electricity, but they're, they, if you go to josephkitchen.com, they can show you how to solve all of those problems. Terry Saka with cornerstoneassetmetals.com. So what's going on in the world of finances? Why should they call today? Well, China has laid out in a speech a few weeks ago exactly what they think of the United States. I haven't seen that in my 55 years. With China and Russia forming these reserve currencies, new reserve currency, we better be prepared because that dollar is going to be in deep trouble and we're going to need assets to protect us from it. CornerstoneAssetMetals.com. Call them or go online. CornerstoneAssetMetals.com or call them at 888-747-3309. 888-747-3309. I suggest you not only go to prophecyclub.com, you not only want to just get this book here, which is what we're talking about today, God's Warnings to America. One's $20, but don't get one. Get five for $30. That's a better deal. That way you got four to give away your friends. Can you start reading this? You're going to want to give it away to other people. Now, here's a better deal. So I've written four of these books. I wrote this one. I wrote Daniel. Uh, Tribulation Secrets of Daniel and Miss the Mark, and also Understand Bible Prophecy, Secret Door. I compiled this one. These are prophecies that I gathered from these people, though I think there's only one from me. So, I mean, I didn't write it. I just compiled it, printed it, paid for it to be printed so that you can have a copy of it. However, what the very, very best deal, I think maybe the best we were ever had at the Prophecy Club in 30 years, this one is how pre-trib won. This one is explaining to you how the, the truth beat the lie. How is it that the truth of the fact that there's not a pre-trib rapture lost the match and everybody believes there's going to be a pre-trib rapture? How does that happen? And then I also go in and give you the scriptures very plainly and simply lay it out for you and I show you why there's not going to be a pre-trib rapture. Then, this book is the Tribulation Secrets in Daniel. It's where I take verse by verse part of Daniel. Don't need the whole book. This is the part of Daniel that as a a last days Christian, you need to know and understand. Then, Miss the Mark. This has actually turned out to be a very, very popular book because the whole point is to convince people not to take the mark of the beast. Now, Secret Door to Understand Bible Prophecy. This one is, uh, it's not complicated, but it's deep. This is teaching you 
how to understand Bible prophecy. Whereas miss the mark, this is for the person that maybe not even a Christian. They certainly are not a prophecy student. They don't. They don't probably don't know much about the Bible at all. But this one is a book that you hand to someone. You don't know about the mark of the beast? Well, here, read this. And if they'll read the first page or two, they won't put it down. They'll read the whole thing. And if they read the whole thing, whatever happens, they will not take that mark of the beast. And it has pictures of what the mark of the beast actually looks like. And as a matter of fact, we're in the process of getting it also translated into Spanish. 